One part of today's conference that perhaps was slightly less waffle was Lord Frost. Yeah, indeed. He was uh, pretty bold, uh, I would say pretty forthright in terms of what he had to say about Article 16, the Northern Ireland Protocol. This is a continuing issue, isn't it? What precisely is going to happen? Uh, what are the UK government going to do? We had Arlene Foster here today in this very studio saying it needs to be enacted right now. Uh, we had actually all the union's leaders, including the head of the DUP, the new head of the DUP, Geoffrey Johnson, meeting with the Prime Minister today, insisting action needs to be taken. Now, Lord Frost is saying that uh, fundamentally something needs to happen, the EU need to change course, that the way that the Northern Ireland Protocol be, the way it's been implemented is not working, uh, that it is essentially dividing up the United Kingdom. The big question, I think, Nigel, is are the government actually really going to act on this? They keep alluding to the fact that they may well trigger Article 16, but to date they seem to be kind of dancing around it rather than uh, doing it. But the rhetoric today, essentially from uh, David Frost, was quite strong on saying the EU need to change their game and also effectively telling Joe Biden as well to keep his nose out of uh, the affairs in Northern Ireland. Uh, this is Lord Frost speaking a little earlier. The Northern Ireland Protocol is not working and needs to change. Yes, we agreed the protocol in that difficult autumn two years ago. We knew we were taking a risk, but a worthy one in the cause of peace in the cause of protecting the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. Of course, we wanted to negotiate something better. If it had not been for the madness of the Surrender Act, we could have done so. So we worried right from the start that the protocol would not take the strain if not handled sensitively. As it has turned out, we were right. The arrangements have, become, have begun to come apart even more quickly than we feared. Thanks to the EU's heavy-handed actions, cross-community political support for the protocol has collapsed.